Okay, so in this video, like I've just mentioned, I'm going to show you how to clean up the top of the head and also change the shape of it so it doesn't look quite so uh, robotic. I don't know, it just looks wrong, doesn't it? Um, and let's see if we can see in this view here. Can we see how we've got her neck is really narrow like this and we've made it, you know, really kind of wide so far? So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to cut down some of these polys up here. So if I go on to my edge tool, um, I'm going to see if I can just target weld some of these, some of these edges. Now I, d I don't want to start target targeting welding them. I don't want to start to target weld them from too kind of um, low down because it can cause a bit of distortion um, in certain areas. So I'm just going to kind of do it from a higher area, you know, kind of past her hairline. Um, where a hair is going to kind of come into play. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go go up to target weld on vertices, and I think from about here, I'm just going to weld these together. The tutorial it does look odd, but you know you can see what I'm doing. I'm getting rid of a whole edge, which is going to really really help me, um, and the poly count of course as well. So if you kind of you have a poly count, then these are the kind of things that you can do. You can just get rid of some of these edges which you don't need. So again, I'm just going to do it here because I think that's just one too many edges. So it's they're kind of spaced out, and you know it looks. I think it looks fairly good. make sure I select the right one and I'm kind of going upside down now <laughs> okay so that's that done again like I said don't worry about these triangles because our hairline is going to kind of start just here as well um, so that's not going to be a problem in fact it's got quite a high hairline so what I might do is just I'm just going to remove this for a second um, the remove icon and I'm going to connect up to here and then go to my target weld target weld this point to there and then this point to there so then it's kind of a little higher up I've just targeted you know condense those um, edges a little higher up now how are we going to fix all of this you know we could do it vert by vert by selecting one at a time and um, <coughs> dra dragging it in which is one way to do it but it's quite a lengthy way to do it so there's a really cool tool which is called soft selection now you can use soft selection on, on edges on polygons or on verts as well but we, we are going to use it on verts um, and we're going to go down just hit the little plus um, and it will roll out the soft selection options so we're going to tick soft selection and straight away you'll see these kind of um, tones of colors which appear and all that it means is wherever it's most red that's where it's going to be affected the most and where it kind of fades out into blue it's going to kind of you know affect it less so can you see I've only got one vert selected just there but it's affecting the verts around them as well it's kind of like an elastic um, motion so you just want to, you can also adjust the amount that you're affecting. So if you don't want to kind of affect too much or you want to affect just a small bit, um, you can kind of just drag up and down the fall off and that will tell you how much you're affecting. So if it was kind of crazy high like this and I just you know selected one vet down there, it would actually move out the whole of the side of the face. Can you see what's happening? No. Create some really weird looking stuff. Anyway, so we don't want it to be that high. I'm going to drag that right the way down. I want it to be a decent amount. Something like that should be okay. And what that's going to allow me to do is just kind of pull in big chunks of 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 her um, of her neck in. And the same just here. I mean, if if I look in in my um, in my front view, God, it is quite wide. So I need to kind of bring this in, you know, to kind of line up with the neck 
and again I can't line it up on, on the left just here because can you see how it's way too narrow on the other side so I'm just going to have to kind of do it in between but that's perfectly fine there's not a problem with that straight away we're kind of getting a better structure and again in the corners just here as well um, just pull that in and maybe just pull it forward slightly as well so you're getting more of a curve around oops I've just gone into expert mode I was supposed to undo um, okay so I'm just going to kind of try and adjust a bit more you know this always tends to happen in the front view how forehead does look really small uh, and I need to kind of bring it higher so you just want to select that whole area Boop. we're just bringing our forehead up now really quickly and that's the benefit of using soft selection can you see how we can just kind of easily do that instead of being really precise and selecting every vert by itself it's a really really nice way of doing it So it's just a case of tweaking, tweaking, tweaking. So I'm just going to tweak this up a little bit. Um, I won't go too far again because I don't want to spend this whole tutorial just tweaking stuff. I want to go on and create something else. So I'm going to drag that in fairly narrow because as the neck, <clears throat> as we approach the kind of top of the neck on the back of the head, that area there should technically be quite narrow. It should be quite thin. So I'm going to drag that in like so. There we are it's looking a bit better and maybe this area too the back of the um, the back of the ears as well so if I just kind of get rid of that apply a smoothing group on there as well because there's no smoothing group on there so it's really kind of rigid so go into my poly select just select uh, the kind of area which you want to apply your one smoothing group to. God, I hate my laptop keyboard. <laughs> that looks really odd. Kind of like she's wearing a mask. Well, not a mask, but you know, some sort of headgear. Um, I'm just going to press number one. And you can see how that's smoothed it out quite nicely. Um, I can see straight away that I think her head looks a little bit too thin because if we if we kind of look at the reference uh, image in the background, God, if we can actually see it. So let me just move my character out of the way. She's got quite a wide, wide face, and mine looks kind of narrow. So I'm going to have to kind of fix that up a little bit. So again, you know, you could use soft selection just to do that. There's areas that are. I'm just going to save it for now there's areas kind of around the um, the eyes and the, the cheekbones which are too narrow as well so I'm gonna tweak that up and then in the next video you'll see um, how it looks a lot better um, you know I don't want to show you how to tweak I think I've given you enough it's your your turn now just to kind of try things out and um, you know learn how to tweak stuff so just soft selection and you can start pulling areas out like so yeah so you can kind of give it a go start tweaking until you're happy with the way it looks you know and then follow on to the next tutorial and then we'll um, continue on most likely with the ears